Hello all, uh, welcome back to the question answer discussion. And the question for you is uh, the total number of nitrogen atoms uh, present in the purine and pyrimidine rings are respectively two and four, B choice four and two, C choice two and two, D choice four and four. So before answering this question, uh, we should know what are purines and pyrimidines. Purines and pyrimidines, as you all know, they are nitrogenous bases uh, present in the nucleic acids. Uh, and we should know the structure of purine and pyrimidine to answer this question. First of all, let me draw the structure of pyrimidine. So this is a six-membered ring with the two nitrogen atoms at the alternate position, and this is called as pyrimidine. Okay, so this is pyrimidine. Now. Uh, to know the structure of purine, we should know one more uh, heterocyclic ring, and that is called as imidazole. So this is a five-membered ring with the two nitrogen atom at the alternate position, whereas this is this was a six-membered ring with the two nitrogen atom at the alternate position. So this is called as imidazole. Imidazole. Now, if this pyrimidine and imidazole combine together, if this imidazole and pyrimidine combine together, they form purines. So, pyrimidine and imidazole combine together to form this particular structure, and this is called as purine. Okay, so uh, three rings I have introduced to you. One is pyrimidine, which is a six-membered ring with two nitrogen atom at the alternate position. This is a five-membered ring with the two nitrogen atom at the alternate position called as imidazole. And when pyrimidine and Im uh, imidazole fuse together, they form this new structure called as purine. Now let's go back to the question. Uh, number of total number of nitrogen atoms in the purine and pyrimidine respectively. So this is a purine. So we can count the number of nitrogen atoms: one, two, three, four. So there are four nitrogen atoms four nitrogen atoms and uh, pyrimidine, there are two nitrogen atoms. So the answer will be four and two. Hope you understood this question. Thank you. And we'll meet with another question in the next class. Thank you so much.